All right, today's a very important day. I have an interview with the senior warrant officer to get their letter of recommendation and then just go over my packet. So oh, today is an important day. <laughs> Hopefully my packet is strong and I don't have to go back and like do a bunch of edits or fix things, but that's what this whole time with him is for, which is amazing. I'm so grateful for it. So I have my binder. We're gonna go through my packet. And um, yeah, so today's an important day and I will let you know how it goes. Okay, so it went really well. I got so much good and solid advice from him and I he took the time to go through my packet, make corrections, revise things. It was so great. It was so good. I got to ask questions. I think it went really well. I hope that he thought it went well. I don't know, but um, ah, it felt so good to be done with that. And um, he's going to write my letter of recommendation. So that is awesome. That That is a win. So I just got back from my interview. I'm going through making those edits on my resume right now. So that way I have the best possible packet going forward because like I said, I get one shot at this. Like most people, they're like, oh yeah, I can do this a couple times if I don't make the first board. Not me. Like I get one shot and then if I don't make it, I don't make it. We did talk about my age because I have to have an age waiver. And he did say being 35, like that's, it's a tall order. So, you know, having my expectations of, you know, maybe it's, it's not gonna work out even if I do end up going to the board, but that's okay. Again, still not gonna self-eliminate. And we actually did talk about that. He's like, um, so why, why now? And I was like, you know what? I was going to submit a package like six years ago. And he's like, you self-eliminated. And I said, yes. So moral of the story, if you are watching this, do not ever self-eliminate yourself because you don't think you can or you don't have the requirements or whatever it is. Let somebody else tell you and then they can be like, you don't meet the requirement. Okay, go to college, get your degree, and then come back and we'll talk about it. At least you have a plan and a way forward. I just didn't do it and then I, you know, didn't do anything with it. So uh, I should have done it, but we are where we are, you know? So I'm making the corrections. I am still waiting for the flight physical. I was really, really hopeful that I was like, okay, I can get this maybe back in a month or so. And he was like, um... They're backlogged by like two or three months and no outside influence can make anything go faster. So I'm at the mercy of my flight physical um, just because I'm on such a rush with my assignment with the Air Force. And that's the only reason why I'm in such a rush. Okay, so we just had a very small win. I got an assignment to Alaska, right, uh, with the Air Force. However, I'm still putting in my packet, right? So I was able to go back to the Air Force and say, hey, can I push back my assignment date? I'm supposed to be there 30 April. Can I at least push it back to June, 30 June? And my chief was like, hey, just so you know, they've been denying a lot of these requests. So I went into it like, it's gonna get denied. It got approved and I know it's only two months and you're like, okay, that's not big, that big of a deal, but it just allows enough time for me to submit my packet to the board and hear back from them. That way, if I don't get selected, that way my family has enough time to PCS up to Alaska without it being such a rush and like a mad dash. So it's a win for my family. It's a win for me. I'm very excited. So we got approved with that. So now, I just, I'm still waiting for my stupid flight physical. It is That is just driving me nuts. I was like, oh, this is just gonna be a boom bam thing. I don't have any waivers. It should just get there to Fort Rucker. They should be like, oh yep, she's good, done. No, this has taken so long. I have to get my packet submitted this week. This week is the deadline and um, by the end of this week. And it's still not approved and I'm starting to freak out, but I have everything else ready to go. So as soon as I get that back, putting it in, submitting, done. Holy moly, I have received the last puzzle piece to my flight, my warrant officer flight helicopter package. Bro, it has been a long journey. This journey is not for the faint hearted, um, but I've done it. I have successfully acquired all of the pieces. And I know people, I've had people be like, I got my package together like super quick. It was like not a big deal. Bro, this has taken me forever. <laughs> so, we got our last little puzzle piece. Um, 
I have to submit it for a final review with the senior warrant officer. We're going to go through and then, um, and then I'll be able to actually submit my package. So the goal is before the 27th of March and today is the 8th of March. So I have time. We got time. So yes, I'm excited. Cheese and rice. It's been a journey. And you know what? I know there's going to be more of a journey because I still have to get my age waiver approved and my service waiver approved. So the journey is not ending by any means. Like we're just like at the beginning of the journey, <laughs> but man, it feels like it's taken forever, but you know, we're good. We're good. Whatever. So anyways, just want to give you guys a little bit of update. That's where I'm at with things. We've, we have all the pieces. All right, so I'm getting ready to go do my final packet review um, with my senior warrant officer. We're gonna go over, see what he thinks. Um, if he is agrees with everything, he'll sign off on it and they'll be able to uh, put in my package today, which is kind of crazy. It's been like such a long road coming. So I'm about 10 minutes early, so I'm gonna head in and um, I'll let you guys know how it goes. All right, so we just got done. I have a few minor things that I have to go back and just double check, make sure I did it correctly. Um, but yeah, other than that, as soon as I get that done, he signed off my checklist, so I'm able to submit. So he wants a follow up. Either way it goes, he did say like my age waiver is going to be really, really hard. So he said, just go with an open mind, be realistic. Um, <laughs> it may come back negative, and that's fine. Like that I won't get accepted because of my age. So he said the it's not a, like a red line or a line in the sand, but 35 is typically like looked at as negatively, <laughs> but sometimes it, says it comes back and, um, you know, it gets approved. So either way, he said, it's probably like, <laughs> he was like, it's a 50, 50 chance. Well, actually a 49, 51. <laughs> so like, okay. <laughs> so, um, I just wanted to make it to the board. That was it. Like, that's my goal. I got all my, my packet done. I just want to make it to the board. And so we'll see what happens, but it's a good day. It's good. It's a win. <sighs> it's been a long road. So I'm going to go home and submit my packet. I'm stoked. Hey.